and welcome back to the Urban Yoke Homestead. Sorry for the delay in videos. It has been a crazy month for a while. <laughs> so today we're going to go through the Shade House and the Food Chapels, go through a little bit of an update on what is happening there. So the first thing um, I would like to tell you about are these fantastic little windows that we put in. So they're essentially just some bird netting on the inside that's been attached to the shade netting so pollinators are able to get in even when we don't open the front <laughs> all right so the door i'll show you in a minute the door we have two sheets of shade cloth going over each other that are then pegged in with tent pegs as well as a rubber sheet going over the bottom and we haven't had any predator issues with that but that's also likely to the fact that we have five cats and a perimeter wall so let's get into the shade house and see what is happening mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. first update inside the shade house is that the quails have really been enjoying it in here to the point where we've actually had to put some covers over a few of the seedlings so that they stop destroying them seedlings that they very much ignored previously but for some reason have a great interest in now um, we unfortunately also had one of our quails pass away recently uh, and she looked very peaceful <laughs> which is strange to say but she really did and um, while we were expecting it they are around that age now so the others should not be long after her and I am very happy that they are enjoying their little retirement if you will in the greenhouse shade house area so yeah that's the first thing that's happening here and for the most part it's been quite lovely to actually just watch them get into it and have a bit of freedom Something very exciting. I found our first quail egg today. I'm not sure that the quails are going to be laying for very much longer considering their age, but nonetheless, it's still very exciting to be seeing one of these. And I believe it, that it looks pretty good, apart from the fact that it was cracked. So they are healthy and happy. This is very reassuring. So back to the shade house. We have um, planted some of our seedlings into the ground, which I said before, the quails kind of got to, a few of them. <laughs> that's, that's fine. So the first thing that we put in is the corn. We have grown, or we started the, uh, what is it now? 
strawberry popcorn as well as Benson sweet corn or golden Benson sweet corn. I'm very excited to be growing that. <laughs> Oh yes, very much so. I haven't grown my own corn before, this is a first for me, and that has led me to be very excited about the idea of eating fresh corn for the first time. So yeah. We have also put in our tos and we have a few varieties, one of which is the Roma, second San Marzano, and then a yellow pear and a orange cherry tomato with the addition this year of an indigo pear. This is something that we allowed ourselves. We typically just stick to our basics, our usuals, but we decided to go for something that is quite presentable, nice and salads, and you know, a little different. Growing something a little different you're not gonna find in the supermarkets that easily. So after that, we had put in our green beans and various other dried beans for the season with the remainder of our peppers and eggplants still busy coming up. Once those are ready, we'll put them in the ground as well. I'm very excited about the garden. I am delighted about the fact that we still get to grow something this year during our transitionary period and I am very much looking forward to coming up with a few recipes for the various things that we will be growing. Lastly we have put in different types of squashes that would be then the gem squash, turkey turban squash and a king acorn squash. Um, and then hopefully if we're lucky the Yugoslavian finger fruit will also come up along with the zucchini and we will have our winter and summer squashes sorted for a while at least. <laughs> so that is what is happening in the shade house at the moment and we can then move on to the food chapels. I'll let you see what is happening that side and what our plans are in the coming months. All right, so we have spoken about the shade house a bunch. Now let's get into the food chapels. Here next to me is food chapel number uno. And this food chapel has broccoli growing in it, purple broccoli at the moment, and it's growing perfectly happy with then peanuts, I believe. I'm not sure which types of peanuts, but peanuts that we have seeded next to it as well. So we are hoping those are going to pick up pretty soon. Then food chapel number two has been doing quite well. We put radishes and carrots in there. The radishes have been growing seemingly with no issue up until now. I think it is getting a bit hot and maybe they're getting a bit damaged. Soil is not what it should be. We are looking into amending that, especially because we would like to re sow with carrots for the autumn grow. Now, the last two beds, uh, number three and number four. So, number three has pak choy growing in there, as well as some flamingo pink spinach. It has been growing quite well, but unfortunately, it's gotten too hot for the pak choy, so it is going to seed. We decided to harvest most of it in the next few days and leave a few to go to seed so we can replant in the coming autumn grow season. The carrots have been growing well in some spots, not so well in other spots, but we'll get to that later, I guess. The last bed, number four, has been doing absolutely terribly. It was under a lot of shade for a while and it's 
now is just getting i think too much sun in the afternoon so it is not enjoying that sort of space where it is and we have to look at what we can grow in that space and what I hope you enjoyed this video on our little updates with the shade house and food chapels. If you have any comments, please leave them down below and do share if you feel like it is worth sharing. <laughs> so thank you for watching and until next time. I mean Cake's busy playing or something in the background here. <laughs> oh, goodness. Wendy?